What's going on, everybody? Um, back with something that you guys typically enjoy. I enjoy. We got a Funko Pop mystery box. Well, a Funko Pop collection. We got three boxes here, different ones in each box. It adds up to about $800 total PPG. Um, but we're just going to crack right into them. I don't remember what is in each witch or in each box. I don't remember what even is in the collection. So I can't tell you if I'm going to be keeping any. We're just going to crack right into them. Um, I do know it averages out to about $25 a pop. Um, like however many divided by the value. Averages out to about $25 a pop. Not how much I paid, it's how much the pops are worth. Uh, we got Nick Fury Marvel Exclusive. I think that's the Collector Core, yeah. Marvel Collector Core Exclusive. Nick Fury. Oh wow, there's quite a few in each box. Probably eight in each box, got three boxes. Venomized The Thing. That one's cool, but not something I'm collecting. We have Jim Helper, dressed as Dwight, from Box Lunch Exclusive. We have Eduardo from, uh, uh, what is it, Foster's Imaginary Friends, Home for Imaginary Friends, Eduardo. Oh, we got 12 in each, okay. Ozzy Osbourne, that one's cool. If I was big into music, I'd probably look at keeping him, but I'm just not. Super Saiyan Trunks. Saiyan with sword. It's the Amazon exclusive. Batman Limited Glow Chase. If I had to guess, that's probably one of the more expensive ones. Pretty cool there. Then we've got Venomized Mr. Fantastic. I wonder if we'll have the Venomized, um, all four of the Fantastic Four. I wonder if we'll have the Venomized Four, Fantastic Four, all four of them. That's what I'm trying to get out here. A little bit of a ton twister. Mr. Compress 2020 Fall Limited Convention. Izuku Medora, Glow in the Dark, Barnes and Noble exclusive. Venomized Human Torch. So we're at three of the four. What's the last one? Like Elastic? Is it the Elastic Girl or Invisibility? I can't remember the last one. But Invisible Girl, that's what it is. And then we've got Black Panther Target Exclusive Glow in the Dark. So, pretty cool. That's just box one. So, like I said, we've got three boxes here. I'm going to load these back up and crack into the next box. All right, I'm guessing this is the last box pack. There's only eight in here, but we'll go right into them. We got Sonic the Hedgehog Target Con Exclusive Flocked. Flocked. Or not Sonic, that's Knuckles. It's from Sonic. We have the Winter Soldier, Amazon exclusive. We have another one. I think it's the exact same. Yeah. Amazon exclusive Winter Soldier. There's the Venomized Invisible Girl. So we got all four. Of the Fantastic Four Venomized. We got a Loki Marvel Collect Core exclusive. We got Thanos with the Gauntlet Target exclusive. Right, that's not, yeah, that's not beheaded Thanos. His neck looks like long. And we have Infinite Deku with Eerie Glow in the Dark.
And then we have Captain Marvel Limited Chase Edition. So Captain Marvel Chase. Pretty good ones there. I'm um, not going to lie. The Marvel the Chase is pretty good. The Loki is pretty good because of that show. People really got into it. So, decent ones there. So far, none I'm going to keep. So, I guess that's good. I get my money back. But, yeah. All right. Our third and final box. Uh, this one is full, so we got 12 in here. We got Eric... Killmonger from Black Panther, the Chase Edition. So that's pretty cool. We've got Mitsuku, Glow in the Dark Hot Topic from Baruto. Naruto Next Generation. <laughs> we got a Target exclusive Wolverine. We have a Stitch as Baker. That one's kind of cool. We have Fry Kids, two pack. It's got, I don't even know what those are. It's like a little lettuce and like, I don't even know. Fry Girl and Fry Guy is what they're called. Cool. We have Endeavor from My Hero Academia, Amazon exclusive. A lot of exclusives in here, which is kind of good. Um, they're not like wicked limited stuff, but they're more limited than commons, obviously. They tend to get $15, $20. Gara from Naruto. Hot Topic exclusive. Mr. Monopoly Beauty Contest. Okay, this is the first one I'm probably keeping. I do like Monopoly. It's a fair board game. I got 15 different Monopoly games. So I definitely, I already got those. Hobo Goblin from Spider-Man Target Exclusive. Taz as the Flash from Looney Tunes. Pretty cool one there. FYE exclusive. Like I said, a lot of exclusives. We've got Alfred Hitchcock, director. Pretty cool. Nice little focal piece if you're into like movie collecting or big into movies. Um, probably your favorite movie is... Filmed by Alfred Hitchcock. You want to just get the Funko Pop for it. And then we have Freddy Funko. I think it's just Christmas. Christmas Freddy Funko. Might keep this one. I'm, I like Christmas. I like Freddy. The Freddy line. So definitely might keep that one. I got to look up how much it is. If it's a $50 pop, I'll get rid of it. If it's a $10, $15 pop, I'll probably keep it. But so far, definitely the Monopoly. That one I'm keeping. And then potentially this one. But... If you guys are interested in any of these, they will be up on the eBay store, link down below. And then, like I said, check out our TikTok, link down below as well. It's just Collector's Corner um, 10 over on TikTok. I'm going to be doing up close of like my Legos, my Fig Pins, my Funko Pops, just kind of day-to-day stuff, getting the ball rolling, doing a lot of TikTok. So. And then, like I said, upcoming, I'll be doing like long-form videos, get all my Funko Pops together and do a long video of that, all my Fig Pins together, do a long video, kind of go over my lego collection behind us i got more in the other room so definitely doing a lot of collector stuff but yeah that's all i got for you guys right now um hit that like button comment down below what you guys thought let me know your favorite funko pop and then hit that subscribe because like i said we're getting these videos out to you as always though 